Welcome everybody to another video. Just want to start off by saying thank you to all my viewers who've been watching me on these. I love you so much. This experience has been really, really wonderful for me. I'm just having a great time recording these videos each day after these meditations and seeing what comes up. Have you ever thought about superpowers? Like, did you ever watch, you know, Spider-Man or Superman, Batman, whatever, any of these things when you were a child? Now they're like this big uh, multi-billion dollar industry. Probably these Marvel movies are like some of the only things that make a bunch of money in the U.S. with the uh, box office now, right? So what's the big deal about superheroes? Everybody watches this because they, well, of course, everyone's got their own thing, right? So everybody watches it because they like it. And one of the reasons that I have been fascinated with superheroes is because I always like this idea of being like, you know, having some secret identity that everyone thinks I'm this one person who, you know, like Clark Kent, the news reporter, but then actually he leaves his job and he becomes who he really is, which is Superman, and he comes to save the day. And that always really appealed to me because uh, I've been this small person, like physically in a smaller body, my life, and uh, I just always felt like there was this other side of me, that the physical body that people were seeing was only the alter ego, and that I had this dream that I could be like a superhero too. I now know what that is, or what that was trying to say to me this whole time, because actually I see that I do have superpowers, and in fact, you do too. You just might not realize it yet. So what are these superpowers that I'm talking about? I'm just going to focus on one of these right now. That superpower is appreciation or gratitude. Now, these two things are very closely related, these two words or concepts. So I'm just going to talk about appreciation. If you like to think of it as gratitude, that's okay. It means approximately the same thing. I guess there's a little difference between the two of them, but I'm not totally sure about that. But I do like appreciation especially because it has this kind of a alternative meaning and you can see when you put these two meanings together just how powerful this idea actually is. So what is appreciation? Okay, first appreciation is saying, you know, for example, I appreciate myself. I appreciate my heart for beating every day. Don't even have to do anything, it's just available to me. I appreciate my lungs for breathing, helping me pull in this air and exhale. I appreciate the room that I'm living in. And I could just go on and on and on, actually. Point is, appreciation is to recognize the things that we have in our life and to be thankful for it. On the other hand, appreciation has this other meaning, and this is why it's really such a cool word, because appreciation has a financial meaning as well. And this is great because, you know, we live in this world where a lot of people still think that money is the number one thing. Of course, if you're watching this video with me, you might be thinking that perhaps there's an alternative that there's something more important than money but anyways appreciation is like when you have a home okay let's say you buy your home for hundred thousand dollars yeah I know it's not not so easy to get one for that price in the US anymore but just you know let's imagine you buy a home for a hundred thousand dollars and five years later it's increased in value by ten percent now your home is worth $110,000. So your home has appreciated. 
it's increased in value. So what does this mean? What happens when we appreciate what we have in life? These things actually become more valuable. In fact, what most people consider to be valuable in life are things like a house, are things like a big bank account, things like nice cars, things like mm, expensive watches, clothing, and jewelry. And if you want to buy all these things, go for it. I'm not here to stop you and get in the way of what you want. I've learned, however, that the things in life that are truly valuable cannot be bought with money. These are things, like I first mentioned, like a beating heart that works for me every day, lungs that supply oxygen into that bloodstream, and the air that's available to me. Water flowing down a mountain stream, getting on my feet and dancing. The feeling of a big release when I laugh or when I just feel so sad and start to cry. Connection with myself and family. These are things that nobody can take away from me. And the more I look at stuff like this, the more I appreciate what's available to me, I start to really see just how valuable this stuff actually is. So why is this important? What makes this a superpower, you might be asking? Well, when you appreciate things, your whole life will start to get a little bit better day by day. The kind of standard mindset in the world today is like the opposite of appreciation. You turn on the news and it's stories about a war, a car accident, a mm, murder, um, another catastrophic flood, the markets crashing, you know, whatever it is, okay? And then people see these things and they meet up with others. And they talk about, oh, did you hear what that President Biden said? You know, he's such a, I can't stand that guy or, um, uh, when is this war going to be over? You know, are we in a recession? Like, why is everything so expensive? What the heck is going on? And they meet up together and people want to complain and focus on these negative things. And there they just get like consumed by it. Yeah, a lot of these people still have functioning normal lives. They've got jobs. They've got families. They've got some money. They might even be able to do things like take a trip sometimes or buy some of the stuff that they want. But then they keep coming back to, this is bad. I gotta worry about this. I'm afraid of that. And so what happens when you move from this place of survival and just trying to get by so, you know, I'm going to, so I don't have to worry about running out of food. So I don't have to worry that my family is not safe. And you begin to move into a place where you see that there's just this incredible abundance available to you. In fact, not only is the abundance available to you, but actually you are that abundance. And this is something that you'll begin to see the more you appreciate everything in life. And there's no such thing as a good or bad experience. That's just your mind trying to make sense of things. If it's bad, it's because you don't get what you want. If it's good, it's because you do get what you want. But is it really good or bad? Sometimes we get what we want. Actually, the more you get what you want, you might find that you just, it's never satisfying. It's not enough. So now sometimes what we want and what we need might coincide, but no matter what, we're always getting what we need. So when you start to see that you're getting exactly what you need in life, appreciation becomes a little bit easier. 
starts to flow to you more naturally. And when appreciation becomes just your daily habit, appreciation becomes who you are, then this whole world of possibilities will begin to open up to you. No longer will your mind be trying to think, how do I get out of this situation? How do I make more money? How do I get that person to like me? You will start to find yourself receiving what you need almost effortlessly. The ideas of what to do next will start to come to you. The person who you thought you had to do something to get them might actually come to you anyway. And of course, it's not really about getting the money or the person or the new job or moving, is it? If you've been watching these videos with me, you might be noticing that appreciation helps us get back into the moment here. In this moment is all we've really got. So with appreciation, you start to realize just how amazing this moment actually is. And that, yeah, you might enjoy having the car, like that's cool. I've had nice cars that drove really fast and turned people's heads when went by, but it didn't make me happy. You might be able to get the things that you want, but without appreciation, it's really hard to enjoy this stuff, or it's really hard to keep it. You might get what you want, and then you'll lose it later. Or you might get it, and you lose interest, and you want more. So, I want to end this video with some practical tips, okay? How do I appreciate life more? Well, it's actually really simple. You just gotta practice, okay? And there's a few different ways you can do it. One, if you like writing, you can take your book out and write things down. I appreciate my family. I appreciate my shoes. I appreciate the treats. Do it every day. And each time you do it, try to write down something new. It's okay if you write down the same thing. So you can't get it wrong. But see if you can come up with a new thing every day and just look at how much there is to appreciate. On the other hand, if you're like not somebody who likes writing, you can just talk about it. Sit down and maybe record a video like what I'm doing. Put it out there in the world and just talk about what you appreciate. Imagine what would happen to your life if every day you recorded a new video and you just talked about what you appreciate. Your whole world, your whole life would change, actually, if you just did this one thing. If you just start to appreciate what you have and you will see how much you have. You will see how much abundance, how you are actually abundance. So go ahead and try this out yourself. Don't take my word for it. See what a difference in life it would actually make for you. Once again, if you are liking these videos, Remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one tomorrow. Thank you. Love you guys so much. I'm so happy to be on this journey together. Remember that we're all in this together.